hello hello you guys welcome to day four of 30 days of nine um i really wanted to talk to you guys about a note which i love so much which i think it's extremely 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 useful and that is the tika purser node so tika purser i usually use it to either bring in textual data from a pdf for, for instance or even a powerpoint or i use it to extract images and pdfs and powerpoints etc so Tika Purser, it doesn't come with Nime when you install it. You have to install the the text processing uh, family of nodes, and you can do that by click. You can do that by clicking on File, clicking on Install Nime Extension, and then searching for Text Processing. For this one, you install that, and you will get the Tika Purser. Okay. So once you have that, the configuration is pretty much straightforward. You tell it your directory. So the directory that I'm using has four files. I think I have three different file types in there. You can let it know to bring in hidden files by unchecking this. But you can also have it search within subfolders by checking this. So if you check this and you have a folder within the folder, it's also going to bring in the data in that folder within this folder okay and here you select all the file types you wanted to bring now there's so many you can bring in this just shows you how versatile um name is it shows you how much things you can do here so many so many different file types there's mp3 all the way down there's pdf i just saw ibooks ibooks html so you can do so many things let me just expand this um if you only want it to restrict a certain file types, so of course you want to bring some things over there. I'm just going to let it, you know, bring in everything. I really only have three file types, so it's not a problem for me there. It can also bring in metadata where they're available. So if you have the time a file was created, the title of the file, the author, it will bring that in for you. You can create error columns to track if you have an error. And then down here, I think, is the juiciest part of this node because... You can actually extract attachments and images and embedded files within files and this is super powerful it really helps you extract some some cool stuff so the directory i'm gonna put it in the same one where i'm getting information from but i could use something else you just have to create a folder to put those attachments so if the image is in your pdf it's going to put those in that folder you specified you can also purse encrypted files and if there's a password protected you can press the password and it would use that to decrypt files and bring in information that it can for you so finish the configuration let's go ahead and run this so over here you have metadata information so whatever metadata it could find, it brings it for you. So here, it brings in the path, it brings in the type of the file over here. Author, if it's available, date created, whatever is available, it brings back for you. Then down here, it brings back the content. So, uh, so this file here is the Qatar Capital Market Reports for 2020. Let's say I wanted to do some analysis on the content of this. I could, if you just expand this actually, you would see a text blob of the information within this file so i could just isolate this cell and then do a whole bunch of text analytics on that i also have some content for other files as well the second output shows you the attachment output table so whatever attachment it was able to make it tells you about that so going back to that file that's this sorry back to that folder my input folder that's this one Originally, I had four files in here, but now see, I have so many files and many of these are actually images, images from a file. So I had a PowerPoint and now it's given me basically all the images in the PowerPoint. This image was there. It's given it to me in high quality as well. You know, images from the slide, it's extracted all of those out and, and given them to me. And then also on the Qatar Capital Markets Report, it's extracted whatever images. Oh, this is the actual PDF, sorry. So this was a file I fed it in. But see, okay, this is a really good example. See the PDF, it starts with this page. This page has an image and that image is this one. So the Tika Purser actually went in and extracted this image from the PDF. I mean... How cool is that? Like, that is really cool. So, oh yes, images and reports have been extracted. So I think that's a very, very powerful NIME tool. And I hope you found it just as cool as I did. And we are at about five minutes.
I'm going to stop here and I'm going to provide you some resources as well, especially workflows where you can see this being used to further inspire you on how to use this yourself. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in day five. Goodbye.